Hello dear students how are you all welcome to the class students today we will continue the chapter reproduction by roots so here the roots of plants they are normally don't bear the buds and there are however some plants which have modified thickened roots which bear buds for example sweet potato you had seen it and that has modified roots and which stores the food and here that are called the root tubers you are seeing here and the root tubers of sweet potato they have buds that means they have eyes on them which can grow to produce a new sweet potato okay now the root tubers of dahlia has buds in them which can grow to produce a new dahlia plant okay thus dahlia plant are reproduced by the methods of vegetative propagation through their root tubers students next one is reproduction by leaves students you have seen the bryophyllum leaves so here you know that some plants reproduce themselves from leaves and the leaves of some plants they develop buds on them here you are seeing and that buds such leaves having buds and can be used as structure of vegetative reproduction in plants and on one example of plant which can reproduce from its leaves is bryophyllum bryophyllum it is called also called sprout of leaf plant okay and the leaves of bryophyllum this plant it develop some buds in its margins or edges when a mature leaf of the bryophyllum plants falls on the ground the each bud here you are seeing these each buds for here you will see that each buds can grow into a new plant and sometimes even before a leaf drops off from bryophyllum plant so sometimes you have observed that whenever it is attached into the plant then these buds will be come out okay now next one is students so here you have from a bird discussion so here after above discussion it is conclude that the two plants bryophyllum and begonia can they produce from their leaves here this one is an experiment here its aim to grow bryophyllum by the vegetative reproduction and in observation here in observation the adventitious buds of bryophyllum they grow into a new plant and when condition suitable for growth and next one is artificial vegetative propagation students you know several artificial methods have been developed there for the vegetative propagation by horticulturalist okay so this method are also called the vegetative propagation and it includes cutting layering grafting and tissue culture so let us discuss about them so first one is cutting you know that the cutting method it is cutting of stem into small pieces and planting the cut and that cut will produce a new plant here you are seeing that in rose plant cutting methods second one is grafting so in this method it is used to obtain a plant by combining two different plants thus produce a new variety a good variety with a features of two different plants and in this method a stem cutting that is called the season with without roots and from the plants it's attached and tied to other stem cutting parts called the stalk okay and this process here this grafting process is similar to cutting except the cut part is attached to the stem instead of planting in the soil when a portion of cut stem is grafted on to another stem with tape so that it becomes part of host plant and continue to grow and the grafted stem is usually added for more flowers and fruits as good qualities so it is beneficial for you and that good qualities will be of both the plants that are combined okay so a new character will be found there and the grafting is most commonly seen in rose plants where higher yield of growth here higher yield of rose flowers is achieved by the process of grafting you are seeing here in the given diagram 
नेक्स्ट वन इज लेयरिंग स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मेथड ए पोर्शन ऑफ द एरियल स्टेम दैट इज मेड टू ग्रो रूट्स वाइल इट इज स्टिल अटैच टू पेरेंट प्लांट्स दैट मीन्स दिस वन इज द पेरेंट प्लांट्स हेयर रूट्स विल ग्रो एंड लेटर दिस इज डिटैच फ्रॉम द प्लांट एंड सो दैट इट ग्रो एन इंडिपेंडेंट प्लांट यू आर सींग हेयर द लेरिंग सो डिफरेंट रूट्स विल बी देयर एंड दे विल मेक ए न्यू प्लांट सो आफ्टर द लेयरिंग द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज टिश्यू कल्चर इट इज वेरी वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टूडेंट्स तो टिश्यू कल्चर इट इन्वॉल्व द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंड प्रोडक्शन और द ग्रोथ ऑफ प्लांट्स दैट मीन्स इन टिश्यू कल्चर वी कैन मेक द प्रोडक्शन मोर एंड वी विल ग्रो द प्लांट्स एंड द प्लांट्स इन सिंथेटिक मीडियम अंडर आर्टिफिशियल conditions into the laboratories and here a kind of plant you know that may be grown in sterile medium where in tissue culture and using small parts of an existing plant in a test tube and the medium is which is used to grow the plants in a test tube that is rich in nutrients and suitable for growth of the sufficient plants you know that plants need the nutrients okay so that these are used and an unorganized mass of cell wall here cell that is known as callus which develops from it okay now the callus is put in a hormone containing medium that means firstly you will give it nutrition and callus will form and after that callus you will put this callus into the medium which contains the hormones and which includes cell differentiation and the formation of plantlets and the plantlets develops in an independent plant when transferred to the soil and some examples of such plants that are cultivated using tissue culture techniques that are orchids asparagus here yeah, asparagus and chrysanthemum etc students this is sufficient for today and the remaining portion of this chapter we will discuss in our next video till then thank you thank you everyone